that's my cue, all right. Well, good evening, welcome to String Jamboree 2023. Hi, I'm Bob Rizzo, and it is so great to see you all here tonight. Music is alive and well in Springford. What a capacity crowd. Before we get started, let's give all of these musicians a fantastic and huge <laughs> round of applause. So I was, I was a music teacher for 18 years and I always told my students never to do this and I tried to encourage my parents never to do this, but find your child and wave real quick. Find your parents and wave real quick. There you go, get it out of your system now, fantastic. All right, this is perhaps my favorite night of the year and here's why. Uh, first of all, these four amazing and exceptional music educators are brave enough to put every string student on the stage at the same time, which is a huge feat in case you're watching it all happen. There's a lot of coordination that occurs. But more importantly, what's fantastic about this evening is the young students can be inspired by the older students, and the older students can experience some nostalgia because they remember back when they were going through this for the first, second time. So it's a fantastic event. It's a great way to bring everybody together and show the community that we support and love so much. I'm very proud of these students. I'm very proud of these educators. And I wish you all a wonderful evening. Enjoy the music. Enjoy the collaboration that is going to go on tonight. My next job is to introduce our school board president to say a couple of very brief words. And then the music is on. So Mrs. Erica Herman, school board president, I'd like to welcome her out. Good evening, everyone, and thank you, Mr. Rizzo. As uh, he mentioned, my name is Erica Hermans, and I'm happy to be here to represent the Springford School Board. So I must say that this event is really dear to my heart, um, not just as a school board director, but also as a former violinist, having sat in your seats at one point in my life. Um, you know, this event you know, is really magical to think about bringing all of our students in one program in-house to put on a performance like this is no easy feat. And you know, as Mr. Rizzo echoed, I think the ability for our elementary school students to observe our older high school students and hopefully be inspired to continue on in the Springford Music Program and one day sit in their seats to be role models to our future string players is amazing. And to our middle school and high school students, maybe even some where this might be your last jamboree, I'm sure it's bittersweet to sit there and reflect on how far you have come over the years, and I'm pretty sure that your families in the audience feels like it was just yesterday when you bought their first half size or three quarter size instrument. So there are a lot of thank yous that have to go around. Of course, to our music teachers and to our staff, thank you for inspiring the love of music and arts in our students because that is going to be long lasting. To the families in the room, I know that you make a lot of accommodations to help support your child's musical endeavors. You know, whether it be sitting silently in the evening as they practice or driving your child to and from school to make sure that that cello gets home in one piece or um, just simply encouraging them to continue on when they don't get the music right the first time. So thank you for all that you do. And lastly but not leastly, thank you to all of the students in the room. All of the effort that you put into your instrument, those practice hours, pays off in ways that you might not even realize right now. So thank you for all that you do, all the effort, all the care, all the love that I know that you're gonna put into your performance tonight. You guys should be very proud of yourselves. I know I am of you, and you all are simply amazing. Thank you, enjoy the performance.
awesome job. Now, Canon and Dee, we're going to be hiring you out for weddings really soon. Awesome. Well, I am Mrs. Katziana. Everybody calls me Mrs. K. Hi, fourth grade. You're going to be with me next year in the fifth grade building. Don't worry. It's just a really big square. So, this big rehearsal and practice and concert that you did in the past two days, holy moly, so much work. Imagine doing that every week, because that's what we do. It's because fifth grade, we're all together. All you buildings, you come together in the fifth grade building, and we are one orchestra. So in front of me is our fifth grade orchestra, and we are playing an intense number right now called With a Vengeance. something and today it was that there's a lot of awkward pauses in that one so it's like the urge to clap is strong in the middle of that one. I'm en route to sixth grade right now. They're behind fifth grade and while I'm moving special thanks. We have lots of people to thank tonight. I'm thanking administration because without their support we can't do much of anything. So thank you to all upper admin, our principals, everybody that supports us and help make this happen. So here I am in the middle in front of sixth grade, and we are playing a piece called Mahler's Mysterious March. So envision kind of like Frere Jaca, but kind of like creepy sounding with all sorts of weird twists. Here we go.
Good evening, everybody. Congratulations to fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. You guys said an awesome. Another round of applause. Great job. My favorite part about Jamboree is that you just see the progression from year to year. It is so cool. I love it. It makes my heart happy. Um, so I'm Ms. Beish. I'm the middle school orchestra director. I teach 7th and 8th grade. We have our 7th and 8th grade orchestra here. And tonight we are super excited to play Ludwig's Tango for you. This piece you will find, um, it sounds a little familiar. It's Beethoven's 5th Symphony. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. But it's written in a tango, so it has a little flair to it. Um, and we are super excited to perform for you tonight. Before we perform, I just wanted to say thank you to a specific group of people. I wanted to first say thank you to SFMA, Spring Forward Music Association. Um, they are an awesome parent volunteer group. They help run our music programs and they support us so much, whether it's selling concessions outside of our concerts, um, they help us organize events, they help things happen. Without them, we really couldn't do this. So thank you to SFMA, and thank you to our custodial staff and our secretaries. They do so much for us. They helped us lay down this carpet yesterday, which was a, real, a lot of work, um, and we just really appreciate all the facilities help with putting on this performance. So we hope you enjoy Ludwig's Tango.
Great job, guys. All right, so now we're going to move our middle school back and we're gonna bring in the high school ensembles and you have a treat in for you. They sound amazing. And then we're gonna have our finale. So just give us a moment to transition and we'll be with you shortly. Granahan, I am the high school orchestra director, and we are about to perform. This is the Select Strings. This is an audition only group who are made up of 10th through 12th graders. And this is something, if you practice really hard, that you can join when you get to be in high school. So please enjoy Bacchanal.
right, so a couple little housekeeping things before we play our last and best song. Right, everybody? Just, just wait, we worked hard on this last night. So that's it. This last song, we had three run-throughs before we were performing it for you live, which is not a lot in the world of music. A couple questions I have up here right now is, wow, those high school kids, how much did they practice? In high school, it becomes a class, and I see them every other, or sometimes I see a bunch of them every day. So when you keep playing, it changes in ninth grade to then become you know, you get a grade for it. It's pretty cool. And I get to see you all the time. Can we hang out? All right. Uh, so very quickly, before our last piece, um, please send one adult person per family to get your child. As you can see, there are a lot of us here tonight, which is awesome. Thank you all so much for coming out. It really does mean a lot. This really is my favorite night of the whole year. And I'm pretty sure Mr. Rizzo must have bugged my office like five years ago because everything he said is everything I used to tell the fourth graders when I used to teach fourth grade and high school about how fourth graders, you get to do no wrong, just stand there, look pretty, and your parents are so proud. Look how old they got. When did that happen? I know this. I have a third grader who's playing cello this year for the first time, and I'm doing the same exact thing. The high school parents are like, oh, do you remember when so-and-so was that little? So this is my favorite night for that reason. But please send one parent, a uh, fifth and sixth grader in the cafeteria. You'll go out those doors and turn left. Fourth grade is in the auditorium, which is out this way. We do have enter and exit signs because again, we have a lot of people. Please follow those. Other than that, thank you all so much for coming out tonight and please enjoy William Tell.
All right, please allow us one minute to get the performers out into their room, and then we will...